हेलो एवरीवन यू आर आम वेलकम टू लेक्चर नंबर 970 एंड टुडे टॉपिक इज द इंडस्ट्रियल मैन्युफैक्चर ऑफ नाइट्राइल रबर और द अदर नेम इज ब्यूना एन रबर and this rubber is very special type of rubber and here the raw material to manufacture industrially uh, nitrile rubber requires uh, 75% butadiene and 25% acryl nitrile and uh, they are polymerized and the polymerization is that is emulsion polymerization and where we are using cationic and anionic uh, emulsifying agents they are soapy material and the cationic one may be uh, palmitic acid stearic acid oleic acid salts and uh, anionic material can be uh, benzyl sulfide and here the vulcanization is done in presence of sulfur by uh, using accelerator this rubber that is uh, nitrile rubber or bunyan rubber uh, is highly resistant to heat sunlight atmospheric oxidation and it is strong but its tensile strength Uh, is slow uh, because it is containing butadiene that is uh, irregular a uh, branched one and because of that reason the tensile strength is uh, low and once we are increasing the percentage of acryl nitrile the tensile strength can be increased and this rubber is mainly used for high altitude a uh, aeroplane uh, part material to manufacture all those things gas kit and some special type of uh, tanks and some ports some uh, vessels for the use to carry the iron and petroleum because it is very strong and stable and it is having very high quality because it is extremely resistant to uh, heat and sun that's why for multi purpose it is uh, used so the bruna n or nitrile rubber <coughs> is the co polymer of uh, butadiene that is 75% and acryl nitrile 25% and number one bruna n is a co polymer of 75% Uh, butadiene and 25% uh, acryl nitrile and is manufactured by emulsion polymerization uh, water is used as dispersion medium uh, soaps of the fatty acids such as olive oil mystic and palmitic acid that is uh, cationic uh, emulsifying agent and anionic one is alkyl benzyl uh, sulfonate are used as emulsifying agent and of course it is uh, manufactured by uh, emulsion polymerization so emulsifying agents whether it is cationic or anionic they play very important role uh, emul uh, that's a acryl uh, sulfonate are used as emulsifying agent uh, cumin hydroperoxide is used as polymerization Uh, initiator i mean the uh, cumin hydroperoxide will initiate uh, the polymerization reaction and that is called polymerization initiator and uh, iron iron that is fe positive two salts are uh, used as polymerization promoters uh, in a small amount and na2 p4o7 is used as complexing agent here hydroquinone are used to stop the uh, reaction as per our uh, 
uh, desire. So hydroquinone is used for that purpose. Uh, that where and when to stop the reaction because whatever is our desire according to that we are using. <coughs> and these are known as polymerization terminator. Number two, that is properties of Una rubber or uh, nitride uh, rubber. A. It possesses excellent resistance to heat, sunlight, ions, acids and salts, but is less resistant to alkalis as compared to natural uh, rubber. Uh, due to the presence of cyanide grouping at the CN, uh, due to the presence of uh, acronitride in copolymer, the resistance to acids, ions and solvent increases. Uh, B. Buna and rubber is low in tensile strength as the chain structure of polymer is irregular like uh, SBR that is uh, uh, your uh, butadiene styrene combination that is your SBR rubber. Uh, the tensile strength uh, is increased by adding reinforcing fillers. Here, actually, Buna N or nitride rubber is a very special type of rubber and it has a lot of uses in automobile industries, in high altitude uh, aircraft uh, industries, as an adhesive in textile industry. I mean, multi purpose uses are there and it's a very, very special type of uh, rubber. Uh, so, in continuation of properties of Buna N, uh, C. I have already discussed AB and C is it is less uh, resilient than natural rubber. Abrasion resistance is satisfactory in Buna N and heat resistance is satisfactory. D. In these polymers, I mean Buna N, uh, the phenyl group of styrene in Buna S actually uh, Buna S means that it is SBR rubber. So in SBR rubber, styrene is there. So that styrene is replaced by nitrile group. Uh, that is, poor, and that nitrile group uh, is more polar. So here, uh, the phenyl group of styrene in the Buna S, that is phenyl, and phenyl is replaced by nitrile, and nitrile is very uh, polar as compared to phenyl. Uh, in nitrile group of uh, acro nitrile. E. The freezing point also increases with the increase in nitrile content uh, as iron resistance also increases with increase in nitrile content. So once nitrile content is increasing means the polarity is increasing and with that increase in the polarity of Buna N its resistance and other uh, properties uh, are essence to solvent and ions also increases. Uh, increases with increase in the nitrile content. It is necessary to uh, compromise between low temperature and ion resistance. If Buna and can be organized uh, with sulfur, uh, as in the case of SBR rubber, and organized nitrile rubber is more resistant to heat and aging. So once this Buna N is vulcanized in presence of sulfur, uh, its uh, quality is very much increased, especially the aging and towards heat. Uh, then the temperature rubber and may be exposed to high temperature. When properly vulcanized, when properly vulcanized, uh, with uh, carbon black, uh, it is used in petrol pipes. So once Buna N 
is properly vulcanized with carbon black then its qualities are very high great and it is used in uh, the petrol pipes and tanks buna n is used mainly in making fuel tanks gasoline hoses conveyor belts higher altitude aircraft components it is also used in tank linings gaskets printing rollers adhesive iron resistant foams and automobile parts in the form of latex it is used in impregnating paper textile and leather so with this i will stop here and i will be discussing one by one very special type of rubbers so next in the next lecture i am going to discuss about butyl rubber and some others once again thank you very much for watching the lecture